Good day, students. You are welcome to to this lesson. I am Mr. Idowu Olajide Taufik. I will be your English language teacher on this program. Now, the topic for today's lesson is tenses. Our particular topic that I will teach you on that tenses is present tense. Let us look at the objectives we need to achieve at the end of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to one, define tenses, two, define present tense, three, identify types of the present tense, four, give good examples of the present tense, and five, use the present tense correctly in expression. Let me say them again. Define tenses, define present tense, identify types of the present tense, give good examples of the present tense, use the present tense correctly in expressions. Now let us define tense. The tense of a verb necessarily throws light on the time and action as taking place. Tense also indicates whether the action is complete, is going on, has been completed in the recent past, or whether it began at an earlier point in time and has continued into the present. We can simply define a tense as a word or a verb which denotes the time of an action. Now, let us look at the types of tenses. In this list, there are three major types of tenses, namely the present tense, the past tense, and the future tense. The present tense, the past tense, and the future tense. Let's start with the present tense. How do we define it? It is defined as a word used to describe an action that is taking place at the moment of speaking with no connection to the past or future. In other words, the present tense is used to describe events that are happening at the moment or that are happening at that very moment. We can simply call it a moment action. Let us consider these following examples. All these examples are present tenses. One, Governor Sawulu speaks English fluently. Two, I am going to the market. Three, the boy has worn a face mask. Four, the old lady has been living alone in a house for 10 years. And five, the students have written the note. Let me give you the examples again. Governor Sawulu speaks English frankly. I am going to the market. The boy has worn a face mask. The old lady has been living alone in her house for 10 years. The students have written the note. All these examples are examples of present tense because they all have present verbs such as speaks, I am going, as one, has been living, and have written. Let us look at the types of present tense. In this list, we have five, namely the simple present tense, the present perfect tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect continuous tense. Let me see them again. The simple present tense, the present perfect tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect continuous tense. I'm going to pause here and I will come back to teach you other aspects of tenses. In the next class, we'll go to the definition of the simple present tense. Thank you. Students, you are welcome to the second part of today's lesson. The topic remains the present tense. Now, let us go for the simple present tense. 
the simple tense describes an action that is on at the moment, an action that is on at the time of speaking or writing. We can use the simple present tense in various situations. The simple tense is used to describe one, habitual actions. E.g., he smokes cigarettes every time. He smokes cigarettes every time. My parents love bread and butter. My parents love bread and butter. Bukola gets up early in the morning. Bukola gets up early in the morning. My teachers ride bicycles to school every morning. My teachers ride bicycles to school every morning. These examples indicate habit. Two, it can be used to describe unchanging situations, e.g., water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. The earth moves round the sun. The earth moves round the sun. It can also be used for fixed events. That's the third one. It can be used for fixed events. E.g., the exam begins at 10 a.m. The exam begins at 10 a.m. The train arrives at 7 a.m. The train arrives at 7 a.m. The governor visits the school on Monday. The governor visits the school on Monday. The fourth one, it can be used to describe universal truth. E.g., honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Man rules over animals. Man rules over animals. Abuja is the capital of Nigeria. Abuja is the capital of Nigeria. We can also use it to describe repeated action. E.g. Wazobia stations air e-lesson program every day. Wazobia stations air e-lesson program every day. The children walk to school every day. The children walk to school every day. And lastly, we can use it to describe instruction or direction. E.g. You must finish the assignment today. You must finish the assignment today. Schools resume on Monday. Schools resume on Monday. Let's go for the present perfect tense. It is used to indicate a link between the present and the past. It tells of an action which started in the past, but it is relevant to the present. It is the combination of the verb to have, that is, has, have, with past participle verbs. Now, let us see how we use the present perfect tense. Now, it is used to describe, one, an action that started in the past and continues in the present. E.g., he has worked in this company since 2004. He has worked in this company since 2004. They have worked in this company since 2004. They have worked in this company since 2004. I have not seen John for a long time. These actions started in the past and they continue to the present. It can also be used to describe an action performed during a period that has not yet finished. An action performed during a period that has not yet finished. E.g., they have visited the market twice this week. They have visited the market twice this week. He has walked a long distance. He has walked a long distance. They have built a new house. They have built a new house. We can also use it to describe a repeated action done several times in the past and continues in the present. Actions done several times in the past and continues in the present. E.g., he has visited Spain several times. He has visited Spain several times times many muslims have traveled to saudi arabia many muslims have traveled to saudi arabia and lastly we can use it to describe an action that has been completed in the recent past an action that has been completed in the recent past e.g the train has just left the station the train has just left the station my brother has gone out my brother has gone out and lastly i have spent the money on books I've spent the money on books. 
I'm going to stop here and when I come back for the last segment, I'll give you more examples. Students, you are welcome to the last part of today's lesson. The topic is the present tense. Let's continue our class with the present continuous tense. The present continuous tense. It describes an action that is going on at the time of speaking or writing. An action which is yet to be concluded. It is made from the present form of the verb to be, that is, am, is, or are, and the ing form of a verb. Then read it again. It describes an action that is going on at the time of speaking or writing. An action which is yet to be concluded. It is made from the present form of the verb to be, that is, am, is, or are, with ing form of a verb. Now, the uses. 1. It is used to describe an action that is happening at the moment of speaking or writing. To describe an action that is happening at the moment of speaking or writing. E.g., I am going to the school. The children are playing in the field. Mr. Do is teaching the students. The students are preparing to resume school. I am going to the school. The children are playing in the field. Mr. Do is teaching the students. The students are preparing to resume school. 2. It is used to describe future planned action. To describe future planned action. E.g. We are visiting Joss this week. We are visiting Joss this week. Uche is getting married in July. Uche is getting married in July. They are signing the contract on Sunday. They are signing the contract on Sunday. 3. It is used to describe temporary action. To describe temporary action. E.g. Bukwala is learning a local dance. Jordan is acting in the film. They are writing books for children. My mother is cooking now. Let me see the examples again. Bukala is learning a local dance. Jordan is acting in the film. They are writing books for children. My mother is cooking now. Now let's go for the last one, which is called the present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense is used for an action that started in the past in a continuous manner and has continued up to the present moment. It is the combination of the verb to have, that is, has or have, with ing form of a verb. The present perfect continuous tense is used for an action that started in the past in a continuous manner and has continued up to the present moment. It is the combination of the verb to have, that is, has, have, with ing form of the verb. So don't, don't forget that immediately you use have, the verb to have must be followed by been, that is B-E-E-N, before you now add the ing form of the verb. Uses. One, to describe an action that started in the past and has continued up to the present. To describe an action that started in the past and has continued to the present. E.g., the girls have been singing for over two hours. The girls have been singing for over two hours. I've been writing the novel for five months. She has been learning mathematics since last year. We have been playing chess since 1 p.m. It has been raining. All the examples shows that they started in the past and the actions are still on. Now, for references, let's just check the following books. One, Contemporary English Grammar by J.D. Modi. Contemporary English Grammar by J.D. Modi. Two, you can also Google on www.grammarly.com, www.grammarly.com, www.mbaenglish.com, www.mbaenglish.com. Now, your class work. Identify the tenses of the following. Identify the tenses of the following. One, the boy and his sister are going to the school. The boy and his sister are going to the school. Two, he writes correctly. He writes correctly. Three, the governor had advised Lagosians to always wear face masks. 
the governor has advised Lagosians to always wear face masks. Four, he has been washing his hands since morning. He has been washing his hands since morning. Five, coronavirus is a deadly disease. Coronavirus is a deadly disease. Students, this is the end of the lesson. Thank you. God bless you.